Starting normal recording. Damn it. phone down. right at me pulls right out why don't you back all the way out why don't you put your phone down yeah really Blood flow fast. It's like that little blue cell of steroids. 
Knock the trail has a special free bottle off. Yeah, the new speakers and amplifiers is a worthy upgrade to make your vehicle sound incredible. In dealer options, our experience in auto sound dates back to the early 70s. So let this mobile oh, yeah, just knowledge work block you traffic. Your vehicle. Good idea. Whether it's Toby Mac, Well, that was a dumb place to make a U turn. You are wrong. <laughs> Welcome to St. Augustine, bro. I understand your frustration, but that's not a legal passing zone. So it turns out, with Ollie, the pet pigeon escaped, he was rather easy to spot when she was brought to the Fallen Feathers Bird Rescue Center in Peoria, Arizona. That led to posting a picture on Facebook and getting Ollie back to owner Marlon Fernando, complete with her own little rhinestone-studded vest. Why did the main animal control officer cross a lot of roads to get to the other side and find a loose chicken which had been roaming around the gust of Maine? That's why he also caught it, a black feathered fowl, now in custody, when they find the owner, one of the nearest KFC. Officials of the North Adams, Massachusetts Power Company say they're playing with crows, which can short out power if they land in the wrong place, because their droppings are corrosive, and so they have brought up an air cannon to make really loud noises, even though there's no guarantee this will work. Can you say 410-gauge shotgun and then give the beat to the homeless? Sonny Pumphrey of Haywood County, North Carolina, knows well the story of the three bears. There was Baby Bear and Baby Bear and Mama Bear right there in his driveway. Please watch. Oh, smooth.
recording.
back, everybody. I'm Brad Means. I'm Jenny Montgomery. Coverage you can count on continues tonight with the impact from last night's violent storms. At least 23 people are dead after a tornado ripped through a leak in the Alabama. Rescue crews are out today using dogs and police attempting drones to search for more victims. The sheriff says they've searched the hardest hit area, but it will be a while before the search is over. More than 20 homes in Georgia were destroyed by the storms. Governor Brian Kemp declared a state of emergency today for three Georgia counties, Brady, Harris, and Talbot. He says Georgia was lucky not to have any deaths from these storms. The governor says he doesn't think Georgia will qualify for federal disaster relief, and though it's too early to know for sure about that. Yeah, our area was hit hard by storms. A tornado did touch down in Columbia County. Bruce Bedard percent trying to clean up. Here's Regional 6's Jenna Kelly. By the time we figured out what was going on, it died just as quick as it came. Homeowner Wayne Fulcher says he was just watching television when what the National Weather Service now confirms to be a tornado hit parts of Columbia County. Evidence is still being gathered. Investigators say someone used an accelerant to start the fire. Probably the arsonist. Call for Nancy Lopez. Whoa! I lost a wheelbarrow. Oh, my eyes are closed. Out here in the middle of nowhere, there's a porter lad. Make sure you use my name as the promo code when you sign up to get ten percent off. I am Kyle Collins. Oh, let's just maneuver. It was a crash. I started Blindster after my wife and I purchased custom blinds. Five, five, six, seven, Y, A. were high and the process was a hassle. About a year later, with no experience. Five, five, six, seven, Y, A. Wife working at home. 